A hot shoe is basically that slot on the top of your camera where you can fit a flash head. With old vintage cameras, this only had one connector right in the middle, but nowadays they do so much more. But with more functionality, comes more connection points. Now, even though they all look very similar, each brand has gone its own way to a certain extent, from the five pins on a Canon camera to the multi-interface hot shoe of the Sony cameras. And this is where it gets interesting. Each brand has a slightly different connection setup, and this means the camera can talk to the flash in more ways than just telling it when to fire that flash. From changing the settings in the flash manually, using the TTL or through the lens technology to the more sophisticated multi-interface hot shoe on the Sony cameras that can give you access to lots of interesting accessories from microphones to viewfinders and more. It really has developed as a sophisticated mounting point. However, in saying this, one great thing with hot shoes is that they do tend to be backward compatible. So when you take a shot, it'll always send a signal to that center point connection. So no matter what flash you have, as long as it has that center pin connection point, whenever you take a shot, it will fire that flash. Just realize that you probably won't get the automated functions like TTL, but it will fire the flash. This is great as you can have a really old flash and still use it on your new camera or you can use a flash that is made for a different brand and it will still fire again, as long as it has that center point connection, which most of them still do. Now I have this manual wireless trigger and I reviewed it a while back and it's linked into the video in the corner and in the description. And even though this is listed as a Canon flash trigger, it actually works with Panasonic, Sony's, Canons and Nikon's. I don't have a Fuji or an Olympus to try it on, but as long as the hot shoe has that center point connection, I'm sure it will work with that. With this one, you can see it has that single connector and that means it's a manual trigger. So the camera will literally just tell it to fire the flash, nothing else. But because it's backward compatible, this will work with most cameras. And I don't know why they haven't listed this as a universal wireless flash trigger because that's basically what it is. I also have this flash and it has five pins on the bottom and this is made for Canon. So this is the Canon system. Even though it does have those five pins on it, this still works with my Sony camera because again, this middle pin at the top, that will actually fire the flash and that will line up on the Sony camera with a big center connection on the hot shoe and the camera will tell this flash once again to fire when you take a photograph, as long as it's connected. Now, if you are using a flash designed for a different brand like I am, and these are the flashes that I had when I used to shoot with Canon, now I use them with my Sony's, but it means that it's just a manual flash head. So I don't have TTL and I don't have the ability to control that flash from the back of the camera. However, if you have been following my tutorials along for a while, you'll know that I'm an advocate for learning flash photography in manual mode. So you have complete control over that flash and you know exactly if you change one setting, what will happen to your photograph. The main thing to understand is that they are backward compatible and most flashes will work with most cameras just in manual mode. If you do want functions like TTL or HSS or you want to control the flash from the back of your camera, you'll have to buy the flash that has been specifically made for your camera brand. Now, if you want to learn more about flash photography, click on this next tutorial here. And to learn how to shoot really cool soap bubble photography macro shots, click on this video down here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials in photography. I'll see you next time.